we've set up the final green stuff plan for our garden. So I like to use these spinners. Um, Green stalk used to supply these, and now they've just done, um, they've went to a mover, a green stalk mover, where it has the wheels on the bottom. For me, that doesn't work the best. And that's because I don't put my green stalks on the patio. My green stalks are never on a hard, a flat surface like that. For example, they're always in the garden where the sides are mulched, and they're on a, um, a flat brick so that they're stable, but they're not moving across a patio or a deck. So for me, the original, what they had before, these spinners are what I like to use. It's really important they don't sell those anymore because this is what I like to get. Now I, have to, I had to search and search and search for these online. I found one place that sold them and it's called Orchard Supply, I believe, or they have another site called Arcadia something. I'll post that link down and so you can, if you're looking for one of these, um, that you can still buy these. They're roughly 30 bucks. So these are fantastic for what I need them for um, because the movers on wheels just don't work for me um, and where we put our green stalks. So this is what I'm very happy to have. So I'll just show you guys how I set up my green stalks here on our homestead. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these up all the way to the top like they're supposed to with my soil. want to use a really good potting mix. just so it shifts down a little bit because they do sink once they start getting wet. So now that I've gotten these two filled up, oops, gotten these two filled up, I'm going to stack this one on here. Now you have to make sure that it's right in the middle of each section. And you want to make sure that the the lips are in the right spot coming over 
to lock them in place. And I'll show you what that looks like a little bit. Bring you in closer to see what that looks like. Love our UPS lady. She lives in the area.
hear you. I said, can I open the package? I'm sorry, what? Can I open the package? Why? Because it's a cricket. bring you in so you can see how I snap those in. All right, so if you look here, it has a little lip. You have to make sure, oh, hold on, that lip there. You have to make sure that it falls over the bottom one. So it snaps in. It's not really like a sound of a snap. See that? And then for the very top, the water reservoir, you're gonna make sure these are on those lips. Now I do need to make sure this is level and I can see that it's not, so I'm gonna have to put some more mulch on my base. So I'll show you that in a sec. And it's done. So this is going to be bush green beans, the dragon tongue bush beans is what's going in here. Sam got the mail and I think I may have seen a package from Baker Creek, which has my seeds in it because I needed more because I underestimated how many green bean seeds I would need this year. So, excited about that. So there's one other thing that I definitely wanted to get done today that um, I've been working on is our irrigation setup. Um, my own system, I guess, that I've kind of created to make this easier on me during the season. Some extras. And that is using these. All right, so now that everything's set up, let's go over here so you can see where it all begins. So I set up another hose extender, hose bib extender in the front yard. So we have a main line coming from the house outside which is the same hose that's always been coming this way. We've always had two, but I've taken it apart and put it towards this extender. So it goes into here, and then I have a four-way splitter here, so I can just turn this on. You can see that there's one going into this bed. Now these have soakers, these three beds. This one and that one and this 12 footer here. These all have the soaker hoses. So I have those, that switch turned off for now. And we have a long green hose that you see coming from there ran all the way to this bed here. So this is where all of this starts. And so as you can see, I've turned them on and you can turn this on as high or as low as you want. Now if I make this come out more, it's gonna splash it really high and I don't wanna do that. So that's a little bit more, but this will shoot out if I turned it on all the way. But I just want these to soak these beds. So I don't want it to wet the plants up, you know, because it's the same thing as like bottom watering. You don't want to wet your plants up. So when, with that effort, I'm just going to leave them all to be on a low setting. But it comes here and there's a two way there. And then it has one going to the sprinkler and the next hose goes to the next bed. And the next bed has, again, a two way splitter, a sprinkler, and the next hose goes to the next bed. 
then this is how it goes on and on and on. This one's not on much. There we go. So I just turn that on and this will soak this entire bed. So again, I will leave these on for a long time so that they really, the water soaks up the whole bed, not just that one spot. But it'll be a lot faster than using soaker hoses, so, soaker hoses or the drip tape. So the hose goes here. So the next one, again, splitter. One goes to the sprinkler. One goes to the next bed. And that is how I've set up my new water system. I'm very pleased with it. It's more versatile than, now this one I didn't put a splitter on because it was the last one, so I can't control what comes out of this. However, it's the rest of what's left from going through that whole entire trail of the water. So this is as much as this is getting, which is fine. Because again, we don't wanna, wanna splash up on our plants. We just wanna water the, the, the bottom. So I gotta sort of get that to sit flat, which I'll use with some staples. This will be fine. Just to help lay it down a little bit. Clean my hands. But I'm very pleased with this, guys. I did the same thing in the back, and I still have one to finish in the back. Um, but I used the hose just now, so that means I know I have, yeah, I still need one more hose. So I gotta get one more hose, then I'll be able to finish the back. But yeah, so that's it. I am done for today. Um, I may come back out later and plant those green bean seeds and in the new green stalk. And then I'll be done for today. I wanna go inside and play with my Cricut and make some stickers. Yay.